Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from scatguitarlessonsonline.com. This week, I'm going to go and bring you another lesson tutorial on using Guitar Pro 7. Uh, this subject that I'm looking at is transposing. Now, uh, a lot of songs out there are transposed, or not transposed, but they're written for songs that have been tuned down a half step, whole step, etc. Which generally where you want to kind of approach it from. Uh, a typical band is Guns N' Roses. They tune down a half step. So if you wanted to play along with this, you've got to go through that process of tuning down a half tone. Which, uh, to many people, like myself, if you've got a guitar that's got a locking system, it's a bit of a pain. So what I want to do today is to show you how you can bring it back into a normal tuning. Because if you were to transpose this down, or transpose it up, should I say, not down, to a standard tuning, a lot of these notes would go out of position. Now, the actual music down here is presented is correct. So why would we go through the process of having to rearrange everything? So what I'm going to show you today is the method I use just to bring this back so it plays it in normal standard tuning so I can play it with my guitar. So as you can see at the moment, it says it's tuned down half step. We got E flat, B flat, G flat, B flat, A flat, E flat. So if I played along with this and tuned down, yeah, I can play with a record, but it's a bit of a nuisance, got to keep chopping and changing the tunings on this. So let's have a look at a method of how we can bring this back. So all the fingering is correct and it sounds correct when we play it, but it's back in a standard tune. So uh, what you've got to do is uh, you've got to select each actual track in turn. So I'm going to go across and let's do the voice first. Let's see if you ever wanted to actually use the voice. And you're going to click on track. Here it's got the tuning, uh, we've got A, V e flat, etc. So you click on that, it brings up this tuning window. So you're going to click on the tuning, and you're going to go across guitar, six string, uh, in fact, no, because we're on a vocal. <laughs> Let's try that one again. We are going to change this round, uh, actually, it doesn't really matter. We can take a, a guitar here, six string, standard tuning. It says adjust the fingering or keep the fingering. Well, we want to keep the fingering because if we want to play it, we want to play it as it's written. So I'm going to keep. And now what that's done, it's moved everything. I don't know if you can see that little flick on the screen there. It's now brought this up to a standard tuning. I'm going to do the same on the clean chorus guitar and click on here. And again, a click in the box, six string, standard tuning. Keep the fingering. Now, if I'm just going to move this off screen, just uh, just kind of watch, see if anything happens. Because what we're looking for is this to remain the same. As we see, it does. Now, I can't play this at the moment because obviously half the music is down tuned. So we've got to go through each one in turn. Click on here, and this one is another guitar. So I'm going to go across six string guitar, six string, start the tuning. Now, it's not going to change any of your settings for your sound, so don't worry, you've got to go back and redo all that. Uh, what have I got here? This is the bass, so bass guitar and four string standard. Keep the finger in. Uh, guitar for octave again. This is a guitar, so we're going to go click on here. Guitar six string, standard tuning. Synth, oh, keep fingering. Okay. The synth, we are going to go across here. Now, the synth, we are going to select. We're still going to take the guitar on this one, six string. Bass. Oh, I've got to change one there. My eyes are deceiving me. I go back to this guitar there. I thought it was a bass symbol. Let's just change that around. Trick guitar, six string, start the tuning. And we're up to the bass. Uh, so I go bass guitar, four string, start the tuning. Now the drums, I don't have to change. 
uh, that doesn't actually alter anything. I don't have to change anything on the drum pads at all whatsoever on that. So uh, that's one thing. Always remember that if you've got acoustic, you don't need to change that. It's only the stringed instruments, keyboards that you have to change. Percussion, that can be the way it always was. So what we should have now when we play this back is the song sounding correct, but it is actually going to be a half tone. All right, it's going to be back in standard tuning. So let me just go back to here and let's just play it through. We are. Now, the only final thing that we want, just to check we've got here, is going back to standard tuning. So if you send that to someone now, it is, they're not, well, yeah, it should be tuned down. Oh, you've written it there. It actually adjusted to standard tuning. Now, of course, we can do the opposite. That is, if we wanted to take it down a half step for whatever reason, uh, that maybe you're working with a vocalist and you'd want to be using this to help build the backing track and help work with the band. But he said, no, no, I can't. So you, it just works the opposite. So if I was to click on here, the track, I pull up here and he says, I want to tune it down a half tone, a whole tone. I just come across here and we've got all of the different tunings that we can use so I can tune down a half step. And do remember, keep the fingering because you're going to adjust down. So you're going to detune the guitar down. It's very complicated when you adjust the finger because you really have to go back and check everything to make sure it's correct because it does tend to establish it. Just come up with some, sometimes some strange, very strange uh, positions for the fingers. So do be careful on that one there. So, but we're just going to leave that and cancel that. So, and then, of course, don't forget, save as. Got to save it somewhere. So make sure that when you do this, you do actually save it back to your machine. Or else, obviously, when you reopen it again, it's all going to be back down a half tone. Well, I do hope you found this little short tutorial useful. Uh, if you did, don't forget, click on the subscribe button. I'm always kind of working on new things for people who are just starting out with Guitar Pro 7. And I also have on the website, and I'll be adding this to it, I've got a playlist with a few more lessons for people who are kind of just starting out using Guitar Pro 7. Well, I am going to let you go, and uh, I will speak to you again soon. Until then, goodbye.